The Wenaskatucket River Watershed Council brought its fish monitoring equipment and met up with the students from the Wheeler School to see what kind of fish were in the lower Meshasic River. The morning started with a little training in The signal reaches about a foot away from the wand itself. And then this tail here, which is something that I'm going to cover too, this tail is very important. This is the cathodin. You know, cathodin, essentially, the... the um, so does anybody want to carry this? Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Just to take a little weight off the bench. Um, similar idea. Yeah. If anybody wants to get a better picture, we can utilize this as well. Just has a little tape measure in the bottom. Awesome. Thank you. This stretch of the Meshasic River is right next to I-95, so in most of the video you will have lots of background rumble from the interstate. One of the things they did was measure out the course, so they needed 150 feet to match the protocols. Then the kids who were um, going to go into the water in the first group got their waders on and grabbed their nets and then they were going to do some electroshocking, and then they were going to um, catch the fish, and then they were going to look them for them. Here's what it looks like when they're getting ready to start. They get the, the electroshocker, the students behind with nets, the bucket people haven't gotten in behind them yet. Don't get ahead of your, don't get ahead of the wand. Here's your spot, probably. This on what makes them different based on where they live. So, eels are what's called a catadromous species of fish. Um, so they, what that means is they'll spawn out in the ocean and migrate back to rivers and streams to live out the rest of their years. Gulf Stream actually helps bring them back up into the rivers and streams up here uh, where they live. Um, so that's called a catadromous species. It's the opposite actually of a salmon, which is called an anadromous fish. And it doesn't matter how good it is. It's very, very clearly an eel. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, now they're kind of hard to measure, so we kind of have to take our best estimate here. To me, he looks to be about, let's say, 210, 210 millimeters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two species of dace that live 
in Rhode Island that I'm aware of. Um, there could be more, but long nose days and black nose days would definitely be the most. Yeah. I can see better here. Um, so the distinguishing feature between the long thing don't have like really spiny ways. Yeah. Um, so these are all kind of little things that, you know, little cues that you can use to distinguish one fish species from another. That's a lot of what this is, is like using other fish as a reference point um, to help you kind of distinguish one fish from another. I think we should go to the something. But, um, yeah. 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 The main important, the most important thing is to make sure that the fish stays wet. Um, so this is going to be species number three. Um, will the eel eat the little fish, or will the fish? Or is there like anything, any fish in this river that will eat other fish? Uh, chain pickerel uh, would be an example. Largemouth bass, for example, they're both predators. They All fish are predators, fish? but they yeah. might probably mostly eat insects. Yep. Mm -hmm. These guys eat small, small invertebrates like copepods and um, three one seven three one six one yep. three one six one three one. Yep. Or just swipe for the insect or whatever. And I think you want to even get closer to like try and get a shot of the side. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Um. So this right here. That's good. Does anyone want to yes. open the book, actually? Do you want to open up the binder and see oh, yeah. if anyone can try and identify this fish? Like he does, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's on the He's on one of these two pages. <laughs> we'll narrow it down to that. I think it's yellow. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking tessellated darter. That's my guess. I think you're right. I think you guys are right. Because sure. this, like, it's got more of like a. It's, it doesn't have as like tall of a. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where he gets his name. So that tessellation, tessellation right here on the side. <laughs> now this I is like one it. of the fish species that. Now, why might we collect a lot more of him than some of the other species? Any guesses? Would you? Okay, yep. There could be more of them in the river. Yep. Well, what about our sampling method? My second group have a bias. There's some empty buckets if you throw Right, yeah, exactly. They're a bottom dwelling. Oh, little guy. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, no, this is something Aww. a little bit different. Um, and I can show you the differences in a second. This is a species number four. This is a baby white sucker. Yep. I'm going to turn them on the side, too. You can actually do it. Just get a little water in. Really Alright, does anybody want to look at them? Let's pass this around if you want. Can I ring it? Yep. Yeah, we can. Alright, he has a big one. So we have another long nose days here. Oh, it's the same one. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you sent so it? We don't need a picture yet. We already have one of this species. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think it's 192. Yep. Alright, you guys recognize this guy? The... Tessellated... Or something like that. The face is different, right? Oh, oh my god. No. He's the same one. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. mm -hmm. What was it? The Tessellated darter. There. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one you just had? Yep, 172. Yeah. I think I looked at the one. And we've got a, a little bit of a, uh, a sample bias towards this guy, right? Because he likes to hang out on the bottom and doesn't actually move off when he's scared. He kind of just zips underneath rocks and like it's picked up by the current. So we tend to catch a lot more hey, of right. him. Oh, I got the tail works. Hey, ring Oh, there you go. Other tessellated garters. 
Yep. You're good. I can't recommend it <laughs> at all. <laughs> Alright, so 110 to about 175. Is this all the same type now? It's like three in a row? Yeah, well, we only got two. Well, I think that's two in a row. I think that's way further. Yeah, they're very common and they don't run away as much. I see. I think I also got the same one, but I can't tell. Yep, you got it. Yeah, yeah we can put him in the bucket. Should we put this guy Yep, we can do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Got the same one. Yeah, okay. Second half. Once we catch one more, we can bring it out on the roof of the How's it going? All good. Right. How about here? Good, we got a few. Oh, a jumper. <laughs> yep, watch on the left there. did for the day was check for macroinvertebrates in the river. This is one of the little critters that they found. I'm not sure what it is.